everybody, you can call me Site Director Dan, and today we're going to be exploring this uh, very abandoned SCP site. Now these were added with the new SCP Lockdown mod update that just happened today. It just came out, added six new SCPs, and added these random generating structures that you can come across while you're playing your, uh, your game. Of course, I'm breaking the fourth wall here, but let's go check it out. So... How do we get in? There's no way in. I don't have my clearance. I do have this flashlight to help because the lights are out and we need to go uh, turn the lights on. So I'm going to just break in. Now, if someone is already at the facility, they can let you in through those doors, but we're going to have to do things ourselves. I'm going to hold this flashlight in this hand and we can just go through here. Now, because I am the site director, I have immediate clearance and we can explore the abandoned facility. Now, again, it's very dark. There is no power. Um, and if you have uh, just the regular difficulty on, you'll see Minecraft mobs are spawning here too to make it a little bit more kind of dangerous to re, uh, reinstate the power. Now we can go over here. There's lots of different rooms. This is a full-fledged small site facility. There's not that many SCPs here. We have shadow spiders on the floor. We've had a containment breach. Something has broke through the wall leading into their chamber, which is not good, but... Luckily, again, I'm impervious to most of these SCPs, so we're going to go into the electrical center here and just cut on the power because I'd rather be able to see what I'm doing, wouldn't you? So once you flip that switch, you'll see that the, uh, the power's off. I can turn off my flashlight and we can see where we're going and what we're doing. So again, these are randomly generated. They do have a basic floor plan, but they kind of just go with the flow. Like over here is heavy containment. You can tell from the walls and... This is where some of our more dangerous SCPs are. Uh, if I recall correctly, there might be a with many voices right here. So that's always fun. Um, we've also got some new SCPs. If we go over here, I believe we'll come across the eyeballs pretty soon. Now the data storage center is over here too, which is different. There's also a dead body. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to game mode 1 or game mode 3 myself so we can actually take a little look at the intricacies of the facility because I do want to go in depth about all the new SCPs real quick. But as you can see, it's a pretty well made, fleshed out little area. There's the eyeballs, by the way. We'll go over them in a little bit. Um, we've got like research areas. We've got uh, zombies up the butt. We've got little D class cells. It's a very well contained area. SCP facility and over here is where you can actually make your SCP documents if you want to so That's about it for this particular little Site area. Let's go and actually show you the SCPs that you want to see all right So we've made it to my little testing facility with all the new SCPs We've got all their containment chambers scattered about and if you want to look in here you can see the numbers We've got the living room 002 predator drone 160 electric sheep 594 the Eyeballs, 718, Swamp Woman, 811, and Cow Seeds, 843. Now, most of these aren't that dangerous, to be fair. They are kind of dangerous, they're Euclid class, so we can contain them pretty okay, but they are either sentient or pretty hazardous, but they stay in one location. Uh, the first one we're going to check out is the living room. Now, what the living room is, is it's a small metal pod that on the inside looks like a apartment like a very low rent apartment but it's very dangerous and everything turns out that it's made out of human flesh so in here is the living room now we can go over here just like in every single other scp instance if you want to find out more information on the scp you're dealing with just click on the computer there's going to be a link that you can just click on and it'll open the web page where the wiki article is and you can read all about the scp and get yourself up to date all right, we're just gonna float up here and take a nice little look. Now, I'm in creative mode right now because if I stand on the ground, I will immediately fall through and start being dissolved and killed by the living room. It's a pretty nice living room. It's missing the window that's in the SCP article, but we can give it some slack. Um, we have a nice little TV, some tables. These are made out of human bones and flesh. The walls are all flesh. That lamp is made out of human bone and there's some chairs and you can sit on the chairs too if you want to. Uh, but it's pretty gross <laughs> Now if I get myself some class D personnel and spawn them in here You'll start seeing that uh, they're going to start taking damage and once they pass away They will turn into furniture So let's just watch 
as this poor guy over here turns into a table, and that guy turns into a little, little coffee table. Um, they turn into random items, doesn't depend on where they are, as long as they're in this flesh, they will, once they die, turn into the material. It kind of sucks for them, you see we got some lamps, we got a very nice little couch situation here, we got some more side tables, and again, as soon as someone dies, they just turn into furniture. Um, we're, comp we're perplexed and it's complex about how it does it, but that is the living room. So we try to keep people away from this place because honestly, we don't really need people to turn into mounds of human flesh. The next added SCP I want to show you is SCP-843, otherwise known as Cow Seeds. Yes, that is the dumbest name of an SCP so far, but it's also very descriptive of what we've got. So it's, it's about a cow that you grow from seeds. It looks like this. They are just basically a cow made out of lima beans. Um, you can eat them if you kill them. But the cool thing about them is that you grow them just like any plant. So we have some tilled dirt right here. Let me just go into this area, pull out a cow seed, and watch the magic. So we'll grow it right here. You see now we got some cow seeds sprouting. And you know what? We'll just do a whole little herd. So we're going to get some bone meal because that also works just like any other plant and we can slowly grow the cow seeds. And as you can see, we've now got these little calves that are rooted in place until they get a little bigger. Then they'll be able to go around and do stuff. Now you can't feed them any more bone meal. They are not taking that. You also can't kill them unless you break the block below them and then they kind of spawn a little prematurely. But they are just growing little plants and they can't go anywhere. Now, the full grown adult version is kind of aggressive. It's not like aggressive in the sense that it's going to attack you, but if you hit it, it will hurt you. So if I get a little close to it, you can see it almost killed me. I'm getting out of here because I really need to heal. So let me game mode one myself and give myself a golden apple. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Anyway, let's go on to the next SCP. Next one on the list is SCP-160. Now, you might have heard of the phrase Predator Drone, but this one is a little different. So, if we go in here, we go upstairs, we can go over here, and if you look in there, you can see a little drone. It's like a little quadcopter military-grade drone. It just flies around and does stuff, but it's an actual Predator. So, if we dispense like a rabbit right here, it will come in, swoop in, kill the rabbit, and eat it. That's, uh, that's what it does. It's an actual predator drone. You can kind of hear the noise it makes, too, when it flies around. It's like a little squeaky. Yeah, you hear that? And it just kills all the animals, and it eats them. Uh, that's really it. It's just a drone that kills small animals. Like, it, it's killed some dogs, sadly. It's killed rabbits and cats and stuff like that. It's a very low-profile drone. Now... It isn't aggressive, I don't think. Like, if I spawn a Class D in here, it's not going to go after it unless you attack it. So, if I game mode zero myself and I try to attack it, it'll come attack me. And it's actually fairly strong. Now, where was I? As I could say, it was very strong, um, but it's not really aggressive unless you attack it yourself. So, it's pretty easy to contain. But it can fly really hard, so that's kind of why we give the Euclid class. Because I guess you could lure it out with, like, some, uh, some food or something. Alright, on to the next SCP. Do mice dream of electric sheep? No, but SCP-594 is electric sheep, so that's gotta account for something. So if we go in here, we'll see that we've got ourselves some sheepies over here. They look a little different. That one's floating up. They, they kind of tend to do that. Oh, the baby's doing it too. That's cute. So these are... Really, really woolly sheep that have the ability to generate a very large, dangerous electric charge that can shock people and potentially hurt people. But besides that, they're just regular sheep. They are minorly aggressive. They will go after you. The males will anyway, the aggressive ones with the horn. Mostly because they're just <laughs> sheep. They got the big horns. Now, you can feed them little candies to placate them when they're angry sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, that one's still floating. If I spawn in some D-Class, they actually leave it alone for the most part. He's he's fine. He's not going to really do anything unless he attacks one of the sheep. If I take off the sheep, 
They will go after whoever aggravated it. Of course, I'm in game mode one right now, so it's not going to do it. But if I go get game mode zero, they will um, become a little bit aggressive to me. Some of them. And again, it's only like every once in a while if I tick it off. If I get mad at it, you see, they're out. They're going to... Oh, they hit me with lightning, and then they killed me. Ah! Well, that was fun. The next SCP we have is SCP-811, otherwise known as Swamp Woman. Now, we can go down here, and we can give a little cursory view of the lower area. You're not going to see much, because this is just some swamp water. Some actual swamp water from where we obtained the Swamp Woman. Now, this is a very safe SCP, in my opinion. It is a humanoid, so it does have some moderate intelligence, and that's why it's Euclid class. However, it has the understanding level of basically a uh, three-year-old. And as you can see, we have a D-class in there. He's there to comb her hair, and he's perfectly fine. Isn't that right, Philip? Good job. Uh, she's taking a little swim right now. We can kind of hang out with her. She's very, very docile. She doesn't really do much. She just kind of lives her life. Her name is Ai. Ai is Ai. That's her name. Uh, we don't know why her name is that, but she says that's her name, so we believe it. Now, the cool thing about her, she's actually got feet. <laughs> I know that's not really a big deal in the real world, but in Minecraft, she's actually got feet, which is very cool. Come on, Ai. Come out and say hi. Ai, come on. Ai, come on. You just like hanging out in the water? So she... So I'm fairly certain I know what the explosion sound was, and that would be SCP-718. You see, we're really close to... Yep, I, I'm hearing the explosion. So we're going to go inside. Now, SCP-718 is called eyeballs. Now, what are these eyeballs? They are literally eyeballs that um, can kind of explode, and they just blasted the door open. But we do have one surviving eyeball. That's cool. Let me just fix my containment chamber because that's ridiculous. Let me just let me just do this. We need to keep people out anyway. So, if I spawn in a D-class, the eyeball will keep eye contact with the D-class, and the D-class will eventually want to kill the eyeball, which then explodes in a bloody mess. Now, now that the eyeball has exploded, the D-class is kind of infected with some goo, and more eyeballs will sprout from it, eventually killing the D-class. Um, some D-class actually have the eyeballs attached to their skin, but the mod doesn't actually have that happen yet. But if you do encounter an eyeball, and I'll go and spawn in some more because I feel like we, uh, see we have the eyeball infestation uh, going on right now. So we're infested with eyeballs, and what will happen is that once that timer counts down, uh, eyeballs will sprout from us, and this guy is just gonna kill all my eyeballs, which is not very nice. Quit killing it, Frank! Come on! Okay, we got 10 seconds left on the eyeball count. So, as you can see, they're all just like watching him attack people. Five, four, three, two, one. And I just spawned another eyeball. So, if I wasn't in creative mode, that would have hurt me a lot. Of course, now I'm infested with more eyeballs because he's proceeding to attack them all. Now, people that are infested with the eyeball infestation really, really want to kill eyeballs, okay? That's their prerogative. We spawn more D-Class in, they're all going to want to kill these eyeballs because they're kind of freaking them out. They are kind of freaky, they all explode, and everyone's getting infested with eyeballs, and it's not a good time, and people aren't liking it. But that's really all the eyeballs do. They explode and they make more, and they kind of infest people. Now, according to the SCP Wiki article, when you have the eyeballs actually come from your body, because they grow out of the wall or wherever they explode from, uh, you will be able to see things that you weren't able to see before at the cost of your normal sight. So, that's pretty cool. But uh, that's all the SCPs that were added into the game. We're going to go back and check on an old friend of ours, SCP-106. So, you guys might remember SCP-106's containment chamber from earlier versions of the mod, with the newest update, it's been entirely revamped and is way scarier. As you can see, it's very dark in here. We got the lights flickering. We've got a corroded metal door here. And if we go inside, you'll start to see that the corruption emanating from SCP-106 is way more apparent. These walls here are part of the, uh, the sub-dimension that he can bring people to. And he can actually finally go and tap into that sub-dimension. So we're going to go check him out now. 
as you can see, he's been completely contained inside this corroded metal area, and he should be right here inside. Now, the way he works now is he'll attack people and then send them to their pocket dimension. And once you're in the pocket dimension, you're gifted with slowness. I was in game mode zero, so he wasn't able to send me or attack me. But now he should be able to send me to the pocket dimension. All right, everybody, we have made it to the pocket dimension. Now, there is a lot going on and a lot of nothing going on at the same time. This pocket dimension goes on forever. It is infinite. There are dead ends. There are staircases leading up and down between different levels. There's uh, also, of course, SCP-106, who is actively pursuing you through the pocket dimension. I do have my trusty knife to try to... Oh, that's a dead end up there. Okay. I do have my trusty knife to try to fend him off. Apparently, if you fend off 106 three times, he'll get bored of you and release you. Hello, 106. Speaking of 106, hey, buddy, what's up? Come here. Get out of here. You want to mess with me? So I'm going to fend you off this time. He's a slow walker, even though we also have slowness. So I just have to, yep, okay. He's left me alone for now. Now, you'll notice that you have slowness, and it doesn't go down while you're in the pocket dimension. So, I fended him off once. I'm really glad I brought my trusty chef's knife. It made me really stabby. I mean, <clears throat> I've heard it makes people really stabby. But, it doesn't affect me that much. Even though this is a dead end. Okay, so we just have to keep walking around until we find SCP-106 again. There you are! Okay, so we have to fin him off again. Come on. Yeah, I know you can go through walls. That's not a big deal to me. I'm not impressed. Okay, I'm slightly impressed, but come on. Okay, one more. Should do it. Okay, he's been fitted off twice. Just gotta find him one more time. Oh, hey, look. Okay. So now we're on the top level, so we're on the third level of the labyrinth. Now, I don't think I went over it, but there's only three levels of infinite maze. Uh, but... You can sometimes find a staircase that leads you to the very top. And there you are. Hi, 106. This is the perfect place to fight you. Come on. Bring it on. Okay, one more. Come on. One final. Get me out of here. And there we go. I have no idea where I am now, but we defeated him and he released me from his pocket dimension. Oh. Oh. It looks like there's like an instance of his chamber right there. Well, that was really cool. Anyway, guys, my, my outfit's been changed. It seems like the pocket dimension destroyed my outfit. But if you guys enjoyed this video, check out the mod. Link's going to be in the description. If you want to see more of this stuff, make sure you leave a like, a comment. Give me some feedback. I really, truly appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.